What's going on guys? It's Pixelated Twix. Welcome back to my channel. It's Friday. It's rainy. It's gloomy. I have my tea. It is piping hot. Welcome back. I am excited about this video. This is something new for me. I decided to join in a challenge hosted by a girl who sims here on YouTube. I came across her video last week or earlier this week it was. Yeah. And I decided that I wanted to try it out. It is called decorate my or furnish my cottage. So here we are with this cottage. I stuck somewhere in Windenburg because it was perfect for it. And the idea was to keep in the integrity of the layout, the bones of the house, the, the paint, um, the flooring, everything else. She did kind of set the kitchen already with the counters. And so if you wanted to tweak it, kind of keep it to a minimum. I tried to stick with exactly what she had. I did add a few things here and there, mostly just in the kitchen and then everything else remained the same. I will say, I enjoyed this. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do here, but I was inspired by the feel of some, it was small and cozy, so that's what I went with. I, I really don't have much of a theme besides that. The furniture doesn't really match, but that's kind of, I guess, what I was looking for. Um, I imagine the sim that lives here would be like a thrifter like me I love going to the thrift store and finding little odds and ends and kind of fitting it in with my my home so that's what I was kind of going for here that this person goes to the flea market or the farmers market or what have you and you know picks up a piece here and there and adds it to his or her collection so here we are um i was having a little trouble with the layout because it is smaller than what i'm used to and some of the angles are odd but i love it so um it's different and it, it kind of challenged me i guess that's why it's called a challenge so um i did cut out quite a bit you'll guys see me jump around a little bit because this was a two hour video originally and I had to cut out a ton. It took me like two days to figure out what the heck I was doing. Um, the bathroom was little, little, it was tiny, yeah, little, tiny, petite. So I kept it with like a little three piece set. The, obviously you can see here a bathtub, sink, toilet. I didn't do too much. Um, I didn't put anything on the wall. I think I tried to and then I decided it was just too much for such a small space. I don't even think I put a rug in there. I might have. I don't know. I don't. Pretty sure if I did, it. I didn't show it here. Um, I did struggle with the toilet paper, obviously. But um, yeah, that was pretty much it for the bathroom. It was kind of simple. Um, again, I think I did try some artwork, and I went. Oh, this artwork, guys, is freaking amazing. I don't know what kind of sorcery people on the gallery are doing, but whatever they're doing. To add artwork into the game, uh, wall art into the game that doesn't require custom content is amazing. Don't get me wrong, I am a custom content girl. I love Maxis Match, Build By, Maxis Match, clothing or cast items. I'm for it all, but this is right up my alley. So it's some it's a way for people to add to their build without having to download all the custom content because i know there are a lot of people out there that don't like to add custom content or build by custom content to their game which is fine it is strictly preference so i decided to stick with base game items or you know items that come with the pack so i really really wasn't sure if that was part of the rules or not so i decided to steer away from that the kitchen i did um, tweak a little bit like I said I added cabinets to the top and I went with a light color because a small kitchen with a dark with all dark wood tends to make it look even smaller I learned that from watching HGTV I swear I watched that all day long um, and Hallmark 
don't judge me. This is a non-judgment zone here, but yes, I do that. I, I am here to admit that I love corny Hallmark movies. Anyway, so I ended up moving the shelves to the corner because it just looked better there. Um, you will see later in the build that I added a couple more things to the wall by the sink that I didn't record. Um, just because I decided at the last minute that it needed something extra because that wall just looked too empty. So I was trying to decide what I wanted to put on these shelvings. Now, okay, quick rant here, but Maxis, we really need more clutter items. I know you're working on it, and believe me, the laundry pack was great. Like, I needed all of that, all, all, all of that. But I need more. I need more clutter. I need more paint swatches. I need more couches, the beds. I need more bedding with like neutral swatches or I think this is everyone else's complaint. Can you just um, separate the mattress from the frame? I, like I said, I don't mind downloading custom content. I do it all the time. Peacemaker. I see is one of my favorite custom content creators. I love his stuff. It's Maxis Match, so it fits in with um, the artwork of The Sims 4. But I do lean into some alpha, depending like artwork. I I will make an exception for um, not so much clutter or anything like that but mostly artwork because you don't see a lot of Maxis Match artwork um, or I'll just download from the gallery and I'm rambling but anyways so let's talk about the bill anyways um, yeah so this area I really wasn't sure what to do um, it was in between the front room and like the dining so I decided to kind of make, kind of make a seating area and then I took some of the artwork and place it on the wall and it, it made a good divide between the two rooms um, oops I hit my mic sorry uh, so yeah I think it turned out okay actually it's an odd like hallway sort of and that just kind of fit I was a, originally going to put the TV and such in that room and then put the dining area but in the front but that just didn't make any sense to me because who wants to walk through another room to get to the kit to from the kitchen to the dining it just yeah it worked the flow worked a little bit better there again this artwork amazing um three people that i or four people i like to download from one is Tia33, Surf um, Chick Creation, she's another, Sims 3, Test Alias 1, um, oh gosh, there's a few people that I love to download from, and I will add them to the description box so you guys can check them out later. Um, download at your will. Their artwork is amazing. I, I don't know how many times I can say that, but it's great love it gotta have it yeah um i did change the lighting in here that's something else i did um switch because i felt like this build needed some softer lighting than the fluorescent lighting that was in it already even though the lighting in the sims is a little bright but i understand that you can adjust that in live mode but I decided to change that up and add some sconces to the wall. Um, the bedroom, an odd shape, and the fireplace was a little more fancy and a little large for the space, but it worked. I just kept it pretty simple because the fireplace, if you get too much next to it, it tends to be a fire hazard, and I am known to kill a sim by fire. Uh, in my games for whatever reason I a sim always catches on fire and I have to like close out the game just exit out I'm not even saving this because no um, so I cut here and you'll notice that I did I put a few things this artwork on the floor like I was leaning up against the wall and I love this basket I don't know where this basket is from I found it in the debug menu and 
I use it again because I think I use it in the kitchen and then I had to use it here again I mean this is something that I would do I have like clutter not clutter no I, okay I guess it's like clutter but you know it's like that clutter that oh I took my shoes off at the door or uh, I left a perfume bottle on the dresser or this is the shirt I'm wearing tomorrow so I'm gonna lay it out that kind of stuff I just think that looks a little more realistic and I really wish we had those kind of things in the game you know like a purse that's de decor uh, uh, like um a pair of shoes that's decor something like that it's more realistic and it would be great for just storytelling in general you know um not everyone has their shoes neatly lined up against the door i know i don't people in my house just throw their shoes wherever as soon as they walk in the house in the mud room it just they just go willy-nilly wherever um yeah so I just wish there were things like that in the game. But anyways, yeah, I just kind of kept the bedroom a little simple. I was trying to find some curtains for these windows. They're small and I like them, but the curtain situation wasn't ideal. So I stuck with those little simple small ones and I placed some plants on the wall because every house needs plants. Am I the only one that names their plants? Am I the only one? Raise your hand. I love to name my plants. I think all plants require a name. Side note, I just realized those sconces were uneven. Oh, that is going to bother me later. I've got to fix that in the game later, but that is going to bother me. But ignore that. We'll pretend that didn't happen. Yeah, so I hung a plant here. I was going to put that in the kitchen. I think I actually ended up doing that later. Um, and yeah, that shelf was not working. I was trying so hard to fit more things in this room, but the shape of it just kept me from um, putting any more. But looks like that's it. We've got some screenshots here for showing you the kitchen and living room and the, I believe the bedroom, I'm not sure. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you made it this far, why are you subscribed? So do me a favor, click that button down there and click the bell button so you can get a notification every time I upload. I thank you for joining me. You're amazing for hanging out with me today. I love you. Bye-bye.